Why is the UK economy lagging behind its European counterparts? It's a question that has economists scratching their heads. The recent recession has cast a long shadow over the economic landscape of the United Kingdom. In the final quarter of 2023, the country's gross domestic product took a hit, declining by 0.3%. This marks the first recession since the pandemic began, a stark reminder of the fragility of economic recovery. Authoritative sources have underlined the gravity of the situation, pointing at factors such as high inflation rates and a dip in consumer spending. The Bank of England's aggressive interest rate hikes have further compounded the issue, leading to a slowdown in growth and expectations of continued stagnation. So, the question remains, why is the UK struggling while others thrive? To understand the UK's economic struggles, we must first identify the key contributing factors. Let's begin with an examination of the high inflation rates. These rates have been climbing steadily, placing a significant burden on the average consumer. As prices rise, people find their purchasing power diminished. This leads to a decrease in consumer spending, which is a vital component of any thriving economy. When consumers aren't spending, businesses aren't earning, and the cycle of economic growth grinds to a halt. Next, let's delve into the impact of the Bank of England's aggressive interest rate hikes. Ostensibly, these hikes were implemented with the goal of curbing inflation. However, they have had a significant impact on the overall economic growth. Higher interest rates mean higher borrowing costs, which can deter investment and spending. For businesses, it makes expansion more expensive and risky. For households, it can mean higher mortgage payments, which in turn leads to less disposable income to spend in the wider economy. But the story doesn't end here. We also need to consider the element of political uncertainty. The Conservative Party, currently in power, has been facing challenges, with polls showing them trailing behind the Labour Party. This political uncertainty can have a detrimental effect on the economy. Investors and businesses thrive on stability and predictability. When these are compromised, they may hold back on investment, further slowing down economic activity. These factors, combined with political uncertainty, have created a challenging landscape for the UK economy. It's impossible to discuss the UK economy without addressing the elephant in the room, political tensions. As we delve deeper into the current economic scenario, we find the Conservative Party wrestling with their fair share of challenges. The most prominent among these is the contemplation by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak of calling for a general election. This decision, albeit a crucial one, is not taken lightly. It's a gamble, a roll of the dice that could either consolidate their power or perhaps unseat them. And why is this decision so fraught with uncertainty? The answer lies in the public sentiment, which is currently veering away from the Conservatives. Recent polls depict a rather worrisome picture for them, showing the party trailing behind the Labour Party. This shift in political preference indicates a significant level of dissatisfaction among the populace with the current administration's handling of the economy. Now, you may ask, why should political tensions matter when discussing economic stagnation? Well, the answer is simple. Political stability is the bedrock upon which economic prosperity is built. It provides the necessary confidence for investors and businesses, both domestic and international, to put their money to work. Moreover, the political leadership's decisions directly influence economic policies. Consider for example the Bank of England's aggressive interest rate hikes. Aimed at curbing inflation, these measures have inadvertently put a break on economic growth. The Treasury Chief Jeremy Hunt emphasizes the need to adhere to economic plans, but the Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves criticizes the Conservative government's economic policies. This difference in viewpoints further muddies the waters, creating an environment of uncertainty that is not conducive to economic growth. In essence, the political landscape of a country is inextricably linked with its economic health. The decisions made within the corridors of power reverberate through the economy, influencing everything from consumer spending to business investment. It seems that political instability is yet another hurdle for the UK's struggling economy. While the UK struggles, many European economies are experiencing growth. What are they doing differently? As we cast our eyes across the channel, we notice a stark contrast. European economies such as Germany, France and the Netherlands are witnessing steady growth while the UK economy is facing a downturn. But what puts these European nations on a different trajectory? Firstly, let's consider Germany. The backbone of their economy is a strong industrial sector, particularly the automotive industry, 
which has adapted to the demands of the global market with a robust focus on innovative technologies, such as electric vehicles. This has helped Germany maintain a solid export-led growth, even in times of global economic uncertainty. In contrast, the UK, with an economy heavily reliant on the service sector, has struggled with reduced consumer spending and high inflation rates. Without a strong industrial base to bolster exports, the UK finds itself in a precarious position. Now let's turn to France. They've implemented progressive economic reforms in recent years, focusing on improving labor market flexibility and investing in infrastructure. These measures have helped create a more dynamic and resilient economy, less susceptible to external shocks. The Netherlands' success story is tied to their strategic location and their advanced logistics and transportation infrastructure, making them a key player in European and global trade. These European nations have each found unique ways to foster economic growth. They've invested in industries of the future, implemented progressive reforms, and leveraged their unique strengths. This has resulted in resilient economies that can weather storms better than the UK's. But it's not all doom and gloom for the UK. There are lessons to be learned from these European neighbors. By focusing on strengthening industry, implementing necessary reforms, and leveraging its own unique strengths, the UK too, can create a more resilient economy. It's clear that the UK could learn a thing or two from its European neighbors. So, where does the UK go from here? Can it bounce back from this economic slump? The answer to these pressing questions lies in the strategic decisions made in the coming months. One potential road to recovery lies in adhering to the economic plans, a course of action emphasized by Treasury Chief Jeremy Hunt. A steadfast commitment to these plans could help stabilize the economy and restore faith among domestic and international stakeholders. But it's not just about sticking to the plan, it's about evolving it, making it more responsive to the changing economic landscape. There's also the need for a critical review of the existing policies. Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer Rachel Reeves has been vocal in her criticism of the Conservative government's economic policies. She points to high inflation rates and reduced consumer spending as indicators that the current approach is not working. Her voice echoes the sentiments of many who believe that a shift in economic strategy is necessary for the UK to regain its footing. Could a more progressive economic policy be the answer? Could more strategic investment in key sectors, a more balanced approach to taxation, or a more aggressive stance on job creation and wage growth help turn the tide? These are some of the options that could potentially be explored. It's clear that the road ahead is fraught with challenges. High inflation rates, reduced consumer spending, political tensions and comparison with thriving European neighbors all paint a complex picture. However, history has shown us that with the right strategies and a unified approach, economies can and do bounce back. The UK is no stranger to economic challenges, it has weathered storms before and can do so again. The key lies in learning from past experiences, adapting to new realities, and implementing policies that resonate with the needs of the people and the economy. Only time will tell if the UK can overcome these challenges and get back on the path to economic prosperity. In conclusion, the UK's economic struggles are a result of a complex mix of factors, from high inflation rates to political instability. The recession, marked by a 0.3% decline in GDP in the final quarter of 2023, was the country's first since the pandemic. The aggressive interest rate hikes by the Bank of England, while designed to curb inflation, inadvertently hampered economic growth. Political tensions added to the economic stagnation, with the Conservative Party trailing behind the Labour Party in polls and the potential of a general election looming. Compared to other European countries, the UK's economic growth has been sluggish, due in part to these financial and political issues. However, as we've discussed, there is a road ahead. The need for adherence to economic plans is paramount, and the criticism of current policies could lead to new strategies that stimulate growth. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel History Facts for more insightful videos like this one.